And I want to start with this idea that career planning, as we discussed in the first part, is not just about job hunting. Career planning is a continual process. And career development is part of being a professional. This is something that you almost are obligated to have to do. And it's a good thing to do because it makes you very competitive. So most people think about career planning as job hunting. But in fact, as I showed you in the first part, um, Career planning starts with something that has nothing to do with looking for a job. It's self-assessment. What are my interests? What are my skills? What is my work style? And then, on top of self-assessment, another general activity of exploration, which is not about actually hunting for a job. It's more just about always keeping your eyes and ears open and finding out what interesting stuff is out there in the world. Now, then there are periods in your life where you have a career transition, you know, the end of your undergrad, under grad school, um, or, you know, something unforeseen. You're denied tenure. Then you have to focus. Then you have to focus your job search on specific scenarios, specific companies, specific ideas. And then with all that preparation, the actual job search becomes, I don't want to say right, straightforward, but I will tell you, people who've gone through all this process and preparation, by the time they get to their job search, two things happen. One, they're applying to far fewer jobs. And two, they're getting a much higher fraction of the jobs that they're applying for. 